this video lecture we shall learn instrumentation for microwave spectroscopy a microwave spectrometer is a scientific instrument that uses microwave radiation to detect and measure the absorption of different frequencies allowing for the analysis of molecular structure and the composition star modulation has been widely used at microwave frequencies while source modulation is the most common technique for millimeter and sub millimeter spectroscopy recently a new technique microwave fourier transform spectroscopy has been developed to obtain increased frequency resolution and sensitivity of microwave spectra different uh, spectroscopies designed different spectrometers using various types of microwave components however based on the functions of a spectrometer the following parts are needed source and monochromator here we have used spectrum beam direction which is nothing but wave guides sample and sample space here it is used the start cell detector and here the detector is nothing but crystal detector spectrum analyzer here we have used oscilloscope or a recorder the block diagram of microwave spectrometer is as shown in the figure the source is crystal ball which generates the microwave in the micro in the narrow range that's why it is called as monochromator this microwave is allowed to pass through the wave guides wave guides are made up of some tubes made up of uh, copper generally sample will be in a gaseous state we can also have liquid and solid states it will be confined within the mica windows on both sides this part is attached with a vacuum pump to avoid the influences of air molecules on the spectrum thus the detector will observe will observe the outcoming microwaves generally the detector will be an rf receiver but recently a crystal detector is used to obtain the signal and then this signal will be fed into the oscilloscope or a recorder for a reading purpose the first part goes like this the source and monochromator reflex plastron ball is the main source of radiation in microwave region the frequency of the plastron can be varied in a wide range mechanically or a narrow range electrically as the plastron ball emits radiation of a very narrow frequency range it acts as its own monochromator furthermore the frequency of the emitted radiation depends on the voltage that is applied to the plastron ball in place of plastron backward wave oscillators with the ideal range of frequencies can also be used as the voltage is varied over a given range the emitted radiation can thus be made to sweep through a region of microwave range plastron plastrons are readily available from 3000 to 5000 mega cycles per second and weak signals up to 2 lakhs 50000 mega cycles per second may be obtained with the harmonic generators one slight disadvantage of the cluster wall is that it radiates out very small energy which is of the order of 30 milliwatts however since the energy radiated is concentrated into a very narrow frequency band a sharply tuned detector may be activated to produce a strong signal the second part is beam direction the radiation emitted by cluster cannot be handled with mirrors and lenses it should be transmitted through hollow metallic conductors of such geometry that the electric and magnetic fields can be utilized to the greatest extent these are known as wave guides they are 
hollow tubes of copper or silver of rectangular cross section inside which the radiation is confined in order to maintain the direction of the beam as well as its focusing the wave guides are generally evacuated because if air is present in them considerable absorption of the radiation will occur the wave guides used in microwave spectrometer is now commonly used in chemical research facilities the third part is sample and sample space the most commonly used sample cell is star cell which works on the star modulation technique the both ends of star cell is sealed by micro micro windows the sample is placed in a piece of evacuated wave gun which is closed at both the ends by thin micro windows which are made up of glass the round holes are made in the tube for evacuation purposes and for introduce introduce introduction of the gas under test the pressure of the gas is adjusted to make the absorption line sharp the sample must be in the gaseous state for studying in the microwave region the pressure of order of 0.01 mm mercury is generally required to give absorption spectrum many solids or liquids substances can be studied by the microwave techniques provided their vapor pressures are above the value of 0.01 mm of mercury the fourth part is detector a quartz crystal is generally used as a detector it is mounted on a cartridge made up of tungsten whisker held in point contact with the crystal the incoming radiation gives rise to a direct current in a star spectrograph the transmitted radiation is modulated only when a molecular resonance occurs on resonance a small square wave is imprinted on the top of this signal and this ac component is amplified and detected by a phase sensitive detector which is connected to the oscilloscope or a chart recorder in the place of crystal detector an ordinary super hydrodyne radio receiver can be used provided it may be tuned to the appropriate high frequency but a simple quartz crystal is more sensitive and easier to use the last part is the spectrum analyzer it consists of an amplifier of detected energy and an indicator which may be either a cathode ray or oscillograph or a pen and a ink recorder the vibration emitted by the quartz crystal produces an electrical signal which is amplified and the displayed as a pattern on an oscilloscope screen or a recording on a chart by the pen and ink recorder now let us concentrate on working monochromatic radiations of various wavelengths in the microwave region emitted by cluston ball are allowed to pass through the sample space containing the gaseous sample of the substance under investigation then the radiations are made to conduct along a rectangular tube called wave guide after the radiations are received by the quartz crystal detector which is situated at far end of the wave guide after receiving the radiations from the wave guide it vibrates and produces an electrical signal which is amplified by the amplifier and then displayed either as a recording on a chart or as a pattern on an oscilloscope screen the pattern obtained on the chart or on the screen of oscilloscope enables one to determine the frequency or the range of frequencies of the detector microwave radiation the microwave spectrometer described above is the highest accuracy because the absorption lines are narrow and fairly faithful in shape and the relative intensities the use of oscilloscope possesses a serious problem a serious problem that the amplifier's bandwidth cannot be narrowed to remove noise and thus the sensitivity is not exceptionally high at the same time the new lines for unknown substances cannot be obtained very easily unless the frequencies are known within narrow limits by changing the frequency of the oscillator and observing the intensity of transmitted beam 
moment of inertia and intranuclear distance can be calculated accurately. The data obtained for bond lengths and bond angles can also be calculated for linear molecules and symmetrical top molecules by microwave spectroscopy.